Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the principles of plane and descriptive geometry. In this video we're going to look at how to locate the edge view of a planar section. So this video is going to borrow a little bit from our previous videos on how to locate the true length of a line and how to locate the point view of a line. So if you're not familiar with those principles you can go back and look at our previous videos. So we're going to begin by first of all outlining what it is to get the edge view of a planar section. A planar section is essentially just a flat um, object. So like the example here of our set squares. So a set square is just a flat object. Um, and in order to see an edge view of a plane, um, a pl the edge view of a plane is seen when the entire plane is seen as a single line or an edge. So if we take our object like so, there's always a position where we can tilt it around so that the entire object is seen as an edge, like so. So there is the entire object seen as an edge view, or as a single line. So how we go about finding that edge view is by locating the point view of any line on the plane. And it's just worthwhile noting that the line or the edge that we're looking at getting our point view from can be an existing edge or it can be just any edge drawn on the object. It doesn't have to be an existing boundary edge. Um, if you remember as well how to locate the point view of a line, we first of all must find the true length of the line and then we look parallel or along the line to find the true length of it. So we can see this here if we take our example of taking an edge. So any edge will do here. So we're going to take say this edge here for example. And if I look along that edge, so at the moment we have a true length of it, if I look along or parallel with it, we should see the entire plane as an edge view. We'll see a point view of the line and an edge view of the plane. So let's do that. So there we can see we have a point view of the edge or the line, yeah the edge, pardon me, and we have an edge view of the entire plane. So and it doesn't matter which edge we pick for that. We can do the same if we took this edge here. We can see there we have a point view of the edge and we have an edge view of the plane itself. So as many edges as you can, and I say if you don't have an existing edge that you want to use, you can draw another line on it. As long as it's on the plane and we see it as a point view, this will work. So what we're going to do is just take a couple of different scenarios. So these are the same examples that we took when we were finding the point view of a line, just that we're adding an extra point and making a plane out of it. So our first example is our example of a planar section. It's called a planar section because it's a small portion of an existing larger plane. So we have A, B and C, three points on our plane, and A1, B1 and C1 are the same points in elevation. So here we have our 2D view, here we over here we have our 3D view. So the first thing you want to do in any of these questions is try and locate a true length line. So if we look at this object here, we can see that by looking in to our plan view in their direction here like that, we are already looking at the line AB straight on, so perpendicular to it, which means that A1 and B1 in elevation are a true length line. So we actually have a true length line starting off with on our plane. So if we have a true length line, then we need to look along our true length line to get a point view of the line and, as a result, an edge view of the plane. So in our case, we're just going to project an end view looking along our line and out to the side here. There's our plane, our auxiliary plane like so, to project our object onto. So we're projecting our object. You can see the line becomes a point view and by projecting our third point, we have the edge view of the plane. So in our 2D view, we're just going to complete the end view by projecting our lines into our end view. And there's the point view of AB and there's the point, the edge view of the surface. So that's our edge view located for our first example. In our second example, again, similar idea. We have our all our different edges like that. And again, try and locate the true length first of all. So from all our edges here in our elevation and plan, if we look from above, we can see that we are actually looking perpendicular to AB in elevation this time, which means that AB is going to be a true length line in our plan view. So that's going to be the line that we're going to look along. So like in the last time, we're going to look along our true length line 
and we're going to create our auxiliary plane. So our x1, y1 is perpendicular to our true length line. There's our auxiliary plane. And we're just going to project the object onto our auxiliary plane. So there's our point view of our line, and there's our edge view of our plane. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to project the line along, and we're going to take our heights from our elevation and we're going to transfer those into our auxiliary. And again, this should make sense, because all we've essentially done is we've, we were standing originally in front of the object, and we just walked around to the side. So if the height of the line AB is our, our height H1 up off the ground here, it's going to be the same no matter how we walk around the object. So we do the same for point C, project the point along, and we can take our height from our elevation and step it off into our auxiliary, giving us the edge view of line. So that's the edge you found here. We're going to then go on to the, the next example where we have no true length. So no matter, as I'm looking from above and looking in from the front, none of my existing edges are true length edges. So in a case like that, we have one extra step to the, um, the problem where we have to, first of all, locate an auxiliary view of the true length of one of our lines. So we can pick any edge we want. Um, for convenience sake and to make it fit on our page, it's probably easiest to go with the line AB. So we first of all look in perpendicular to it and we create our auxiliary. So our auxiliary X1, Y1 line is going to be parallel with the line we're trying to find the true length of or perpendicular to the line of sight that we're looking in at. So there's our auxiliary plane and we project our first auxiliary onto that auxiliary plane. So, like in the last example, we're taking our heights from our front elevation, because I say all we've done is just walked around. If the object was 10 millimeters off the ground here, we'd expect it to be 10 millimeters off the ground here as well. You know, walking around the object won't change the height of our points off the ground, so as a result, they should be the same. So, we're going to draw in our points, and we can see, because we're looking straight in at AB this time, AB is going to be our true length line. So that's our first step done now. Now we need to go and look along our true length line to give us the edge view. So that's going to require a second auxiliary. And if you're a bit unsure about how second auxiliaries work, there is a separate video on how to get a second auxiliary. So we're going to look along our true length line, parallel to it, we're going to create our X2, Y2 line. So that's our second auxiliary plane. And there it is here, our purple plane, coming out perpendicular from our first auxiliary plane. And we're going to project our object onto the plane. So there we are, projecting our line like that. So our true length line is going to be seen as our point view. And we're projecting our third point to give us our edge view. So this time we're going to use our 1-2 rule to locate where do we take our distances from. So what we're really trying to do is locate the distance of our point here from the previous plane. So the previous plane is our first auxiliary, so it's this distance here out from our first auxiliary plane. So in our drawing, we count back our two views. This is our view we're trying to draw. Count back one view, count back two views. This is the plane we're trying to work with, or x1, x2, y2 that we're trying to work with. So we count back one previous xy line. So this is our previous xy line. So the distance we take is from this xy line here to our plan view. So we take our heights from here, our distances from here, and we step them off here. And we can see that gives us the point view of our true length line, and it gives us the edge view of the line. And just when we're looking at that, the reason we have our point view of our line like that, when you think about it, the distance that we have here, h5, and the distance here, for our point B are both exactly the same. A and B were projected along a single line here, so it stands to reason that that's why we're seeing it as a point view, because both of them are projected along the same line, and both of them have the same height, which means they'll fall on the same point, giving us our point view of the line. So this concludes our video on how to find the edge view of a plane. Um, there's another video on next on how to have an alternative method to skip one of our auxiliaries here. Um, so if you want to have a look at that, um, hopefully it'll be of some help to you. So thank you very much.